So in the beginning of the year, I really wanted to create a video of me giving a tour of the CoLab space, our maker space here in Korea International School. Um, but due to time, for some reason, I couldn't do it. It's basically our last two weeks of school. We have been told that we will be moving to the first floor, right? Currently, we're in the second floor. Uh, so we'll be switching rooms. Uh, it's a bigger space. Yeah, so this video is basically going to showcase all the stuff that we have, the equipment, the supplies, and even some of the projects that we have done. So I hope you enjoy it. Near the entrance, we have two 3D printers. Right now, they are not, they're unavailable because they are not calibrated. I wouldn't recommend XYZ printing uh, printers because it takes a while to calibrate. Mr. Schultz from last year said that it took him like two hours just continuously um, calibrating. So, wouldn't recommend this, these printers. Uh, this is our workstation, uh, Miss Guess and I. This is where we prep basically, get work done. We have the Dremel section. Uh, we get a lot of um, use. Basically, the teachers are only allowed to touch these tools. Here we have the driving question wall. We have three units every year uh, for each grade level. And so that's a lot of time for just one driving question. Uh, a lot of them are integrated with multiple subject areas, but some of them are just specifically design or specifically just science. Here's my whiteboard. Behind that is the miter saw that we use for PVC pipes to cut uh, for the students if they need it. And then the soldering iron uh, if we need to solder some wires together. Oh, here's our fan that we use for erosion projects. Definitely needed in a maker space. Over here we have a lot of dirt because of those erosion projects. Um, specifically for second grade and fourth grade. Very popular section of the room is the glue gun area, the hot glue gun area. First grade to fifth grade are allowed to use that, We're not kidding. And we have gloves just for safety reasons. Uh, we use, we have our collab expectations here, and then we use the design thinking process for our projects. I'm not very good at de decorating the room, but I do enjoy Minecraft, so I added uh, Mr. Steve there. Here, having it is for the power tools, um, like the impact drill that we use for um, our fifth grade project when they created a wooden box. These are also for um, cutting holes inside PVC pipes. Next, uh, like servo motors and all that stuff. And then here are the tools that we use for uh, really any a lot of the projects. So here's the fifth grader. The fifth graders created a wooden box for their breakout EDU project. We have hammers, nails. We also use um, a lot of electrical components to create devices. So fourth grade created these um, Apple products, voice recorders, and also a Morse code telegraph. And they're allowed to just play with it and um, use any, com any components that they need. We have the first aid kit, very important, <laughs> down here. And then these containers, um, important as well for a makerspace so that you can store projects. And last, we have foam blocks. And these are beneficial because um, they're versatile. You can use them with four, um, for kindergarten. Uh, when they created their golf courses, or th even um, fourth and fifth grade when they use uh, the Lego uh, EB3s and they can create their courses from there. Um, here's the carpet and right now you can see that it's taped up. Uh, we have a Lego arena outside, but we also use this carpet as well. Oh, thank you for visiting the CoLab.